Google My Business is now called the Google Business Profile and they took away the dashboard and they took away the app. So how do we get in there and edit the information on the Google My Business account? We're gonna talk about how to do that on the computer and on the phone. Let's get started right now. Now here we are on my computer. You can see that I'm using the Chrome browser and I'm on the Google Home screen. I am logged in to my Gmail account or my Google Mail account, the one that I originally set up or the one that is assigned to the Google My Business account or the Google Business Profile. It's very important that you first log in to your Gmail account before you can make any edits. So the way you get to the edit screen for editing your Google account is to go to Google and search for your business or search for my business. So what I'm searching in right now for my account is Big West Marketing. And I search for that. Now, once again, I am logged in. You can see that with my little goofy little face, my little profile picture here. I'm logged in. If you are not logged in, you will not see this. When I scroll down, you're going to see your business on Google. This is going to give me all the different options that the dashboard used to give me. If I click on this little down arrow, you can even gives me more. This is where I actually do a post and this is where I do ask for reviews. But what I typically am going to do when I'm making changes is edit the profile. So I'll click right here. Now you can see all this information here, the business name, category description, open date, phone number, website, and then of course my location. So uh, you can also do that through these little menu items up here. Click your hours and then there's more. And this is where you can get all the kind of like the the detailed stuff that, that some people use and some people do not. Now you'll also notice down here there are these little helpful boxes. This is st doing stuff like confirming your holiday hours, getting more reviews. This is where you can get the little review link, which I explained in another video. You can add a map to your website. There's all kinds of helpful little things. And this actually changes from time to time, depending on what's going on. So you might want to log in here once a month and kind of see what Google is offering, what Google is kind of like reminding you to do uh, in this little section down here. So that's it. That's how you edit on a desktop or a laptop computer. Now, what if you want to edit it on a phone? Let's jump over to my phone and find out. If you like what I'm showing you so far, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. I will get back to you. Now let's get back to the lesson. So here we are on the home screen of my phone. What I'm going to do is use the Google app and click on that. And I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to type in my business or search for my business. You will search for your business. And once again, you do need to be logged in to your Gmail or your Google mail account in order to see what I'm showing you right here. So I'm in dark mode. It's going to look dark on, on my screen, but it may look light on your screen. But once again, you'll see right here, your business on Google. This is only going to show up when you're logged into your Gmail or your Google mail account. And you do basically the same thing. If you click on edit profile, then you'll be able to change all your business information. You can also change the contact. You can change the location and of course the hours. And then there's a little more menu that allows you to take care of all the little details that you may or may not use depending on what industry you're in. I also want to show you something extra here that a lot of people miss when you're uh, looking at the, your business on Google right here, you'll also see these three dots. If you tap those three dots, you're going to see business profile settings. This is where you're going to do your managers like the users and then the advanced settings and linked accounts. Okay. So if you ever need that information, go here. Uh, I want to note on advanced settings. If you click that, it's going to show your business profile ID, this profile ID. If you copy that and paste it somewhere safe, you're going to be using that. If you ever need to submit a help ticket to Google, which I show in a different video. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how do you add photos and how do you make posts? It doesn't have it in the dashboard anymore, obviously. So what do we do? We scroll down a little bit until you see the photos right here. You see the little photo box there. I'm going to hit that. It looks like everything is the same, but what you need to do is scroll down even farther. Now it's going to show all your photos. And if you notice, there's a little add a photo button right there. I click on that and it allows me to go to my library or actually take a photo right here from my phone. So this can be handy if you're a service business and you're out on a job and you want to take some before and after pictures and upload it to Google. This is a great place to do that is right in this little section here. Now, as far as adding a post or an offer for your audience, all you need to do is scroll down to where you see the actual posts that already exist right here and click this little button that says add update. This will allow you to add photos, descriptions, uh, a button, uh, with some sort of call to action. If somebody wants to book an appointment, order something online, um, sign up for something, or if they even want to call you right now, that's where you can put your phone number in there right now with that little button there. This is very similar to doing posts in the old system. If they just moved it and they made it harder to find. So here you go. This is how you do it. Now, if you like the stuff I've shown you, I want to give you a free offer. This is a free cheat sheet 
with videos on how to do all the stuff I'm showing you, plus how to do ranking, how to get ranked up number one with your Google My Business or your Google Business profile. It's all here in this sheet. I put a link down below. Get your free cheat sheet and get started right now. Once again, I'm Joe Burnich with BigWestAcademy.com and I will see you in the next video.